I really don't know where I learned it from. Ahmed Mohammed likes to tinker. So when the 14-year-old put together a digital clock from spare parts, he thought he'd impress his teacher, not set off a national controversy. I took it to school to show my teachers the talent that I had. I want to show them. And in my perspective, it didn't look like a bomb. His English teacher at this Texas high school thought different. Mohammed, wearing his NASA t-shirt, was arrested and fingerprinted. This is what he created. Police questioned him on suspicion it was a hoax bomb. So I just brought something to school that wasn't a threat to anyone. It didn't do anything wrong. Mohammed's father says it wasn't the clock that scared the school. It was the color of his son's skin. We are in the greatest country. We need this trouble not to hinder us as Muslim, as Christian, as Jew. Irving police say their investigation confirmed Ahmed's story. Case closed. The chief saying they would have handled it the same way if the student was white. That's a very suspicious device. We live in an age where you can't take things like that to school. There was no bomb, but the story did blow up on social media, with many, including Hillary Clinton, defending Mohammed. Assumptions and fear don't keep us safe. They hold us back. Ahmed, stay curious and keep building. Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield invited him to Toronto for a science event. Even the White House weighed in. But it's not too late for all of us to use this as a teachable moment and to search our own conscience for biases in whatever form they take. Suspended for three days, Mohammed now has an invitation to meet the president. Barack Obama tweeting, We should inspire more kids like you to like science. It's what makes America great. For Mohammed, it caps off a whirlwind few days, going from handcuffs to science celebrity. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.